Dear viewers, today we will discuss how to create a connection to an, any other local database in SQL Server. In last video, we discussed how to create the database in SQL Server. Today, we will discuss how to create the connection to an, any other database, uh, a local database SQL Server. So, I mean, like we have the data in one database. From that database, we have to take the data and move to an, any other data. Say how it may be possible or how to move the table from one database to another database how it will be possible for that one what we have open the sql server now currently here we are in the our database selected is hrdb so current database is hrdb that i am moving from hrdb database to another database that another database that we created over here hrdb1 so use hrdb1 this one is selected, select, select it, and execute it. If you want to use the go, uh, if that is good practice, whenever you have to include all of these in one block. So now currently we are in the HRDB. So in HRDB1, if we check the here, just uh, uncheck this one. We currently we don't have any table over here. Like if I am writing it over here, select, select form uh, implies so it will not display the record why now here hrdb1 is selected it said that hrdb invalid object name so now table is not available although we know that one this table is available in the another database in the name of the database is hrdb so how, how we want to move the data through from one database to another database to create the connection simply uh, for uh, table movement to, to take data from one database and move it to the another database we have to use it over here select caric into all everything if you want to take it if you want to take the few column so we can use it over here simply select list of the column like uh, id first name last name if you want to take all column then we have to use it over as text static into table name now here uh, we want to use the table name instead of implies i want to use it over a table name here emp our table name is here emp select static into emp and from where we have to take data from table from which database the database is was here hrdb just select it over here in hrdb and the table was there that is a implies from so we have to mention it over here the database name just if we remember the database name okay otherwise drag it and drop it over here it selected over here hrdb and then click press dot and then now table name which one table of hrdb that is all implies we can directly write it over here implies or if you are not writing it over here in size, okay, I'm writing it over here. Now, what's going on? Now, we write it over here, select steric from, select steric into EMP. Now, we are moving the data into the EMP table. It means it, that will be, EMP table is not exist currently. Even uh, before executing this one query, if I want to yeah, write over here, Select from EMP. Go. It will not display any records. It will say that table or you EMP does not exist. Now what we did? We have to write the address. Now currently we are here as HRDB1. Now select steric into EMP from from where from which one database here to select HRDB dot and then table name is here imply right and then go. And select this only this portion click on execute oh it's it as a db dot implies is not available so let me uh, check maybe it's uh, some settings are wrong incorrect so that's why it's, it was not displayed just drag it and drop it over here now you see just click it over here drag and drop it over here so now select and execute it so it's a one row affected so it means the new table is created with the name of emp in which we have database 
HRDB1. Previously in HRDB1, there was a no table. So if we check the table as the previous, previously there was no table was there. Right click table here and, and, and refresh it. HRDB1. Now here click on table. It will display it over as the table name EMP. Now, if you want to check it over here, select direct from EMP. So now our table name is here. Select EMP, select direct from EMP. Then click it over here, execute. Now, what we have only one record that was available in the EMP table. So that move from that one table uh, from the uh, database. HR DB to HR DB1. Now in HR DB1, we have one table EMP that we use it over here by using the simple command select direct into table name from this one database name of an update. Okay, uh, if we want to let's take another example, second one example that we have another database like I have another database uh, with the name database name is here Adventure Works DW 2017. In Adventure Work DWS 2017, we are having the different type of the tables out there. So from this one database, like we have the table over here, like like uh, we have the table with the name of uh, let's see, uh, let me check the table name is here. Dem product okay. So if we check the way here, click the way here, we have uh, okay that is not related to the okay. We have a table related to the dem customer, we have the customer ID, title, first name, last name, and all of columns are there, right? And that is available in the adventure work. So this one table is available over here in ad adventure work dem customer. Now we want to move this one table into the our database uh, now not not in this one hrdb1 we want to move it into the hrdb in hrdb database so what we have to do we have to write simply use hrdb and go execute it come on execute it now our database will be here hrdb now for this one uh, we want to take the data from customer and then we want to move it to the any other table if you want to display it over here like what we have in the customer table and from that is from the adventure world right select top 1000 1, rows so it will display it over here so it will display all the records over here right so it will say that we are having the gender year income other all of these other information are there it will be displayed over here right then this one now we just checked out over here when we right click it over here on that one schema it automatically selected it over here adventure work 2017 dw 2017 database it close it now we are here in the hrdb now we want to insert sorry uh, we want to insert the data or remove the data from adventure work from one database we have here Database name is here Adventure World DW 2017 from this one database to in our newly created database or previously created database and that the name of database is HRDB. So what we have select, we want to select only few columns like we say that uh, customer ID. Then we want to use it over here uh, another like we say that's uh, only first name. Then we comma, then we use it over here the last name. And uh, then uh, we can use it over here uh, what is the gender. And then we another column that we want to use it over here like uh, email. And last one we column that we want to use it over here yearly income. Select list of columns into we can if we want to select all column then we use it over here select static if we want to display uh, move 
a specific column, then we have to use mention the column name. Although it is unnecessary that uh, we must have the column names are same. Like here, I am using Devrayer. Just instead of email address, I am using email. Here, in previously, over there, customer T, and I here, I am using the customer ID. First name is fine. Okay, I am using Devrayer first underscore name, last underscore name. Although in database, uh, source database, we are, are not having the same name. Okay, and two, we want to use in the source, we have in source that is available in the adventure work DW 2017. Over there, we have uh, the table name is here, dim customer, but here I want to use customer. And then from table name, from, from where we have to take it. So from where we must have to mention the database name. So to writing the database name, it's good practice. Just select it, drag it and drop it over here to avoid any spelling mistakes or other. Dot, this one is a database name, dot, then table name. Table name is here, dim customer. Right, now if you want to use it over here, where? Like uh, if any other uh, where cause we want to use it over here, like we see that uh, gender. So we say that uh, we have gender equal to uh, we say only male. We are we want to select the variable M and put the variable on go. Select it. Now what will be happened? Okay. What will? Mm. No, uh, sorry. Uh, what we have our database names and the destinations and source are the different. So that's why maybe it uh, it is wrong. So it's good practice to write the same uh, names like we have a uh, customer key. Then we have the first name. And then we have the last name. Gender and for the email address, uh, it will display it over here. What we have email address, display it while displaying the error. Uh, if you are not selecting uh, same column name, so column name must be the source and destination for this purpose, must be the same. Although we can share, we can use the auto table statement to change, rename, rename the columns as from any table. So just select it and execute it. Now 9351 rows are affected. So currently we are here HRDB. So if you want to check it over here, select direct from HR, uh, sorry, uh, table name is here customer and go select it and execute it. Okay, our customer table spellings are incorrect. So here remove it. Now execute it, execute it. So it displayed over here only these column values, uh, and for all of those values are from the mail. In this way, we may be able to move data from one table from one database to another database.